day viewers and you're welcome to this edition of Sight Ed. Sight Ed is a sight educational program designed to educate every one of us on eye health issues. I am Feyi Adepoji, your regular host, and today we will be talking about a very important cause of blindness, usually uniocular blindness. But then, when vision in one eye is gone, it can also have devastating effects. To talk to us about causes of ocular injuries and what we should do to prevent them, we have interviewed Professor Lawrence Oyekwe. Now the question is, eye injuries are often termed accidental, but are they truly always accidental? Or are there things we could have done to reduce our risk of getting injured in our eyes? Over to Lawrence Oyekwe. We want to talk about eye injuries today, mainly eye injuries, the causes, the prevention, and what we do, or we are supposed to do when it happens. Commonly, eye injuries just mean wounds or trauma to the eyes. Just like any other part of the body, the eye can get injured by different causes. Particularly in our environment, we have peculiarities. And there are different types of eye injuries depending on the cause. I don't want us to go into the different types because that one may sound technical. But we talk about the causes of eye injuries. Common things are called common. Because of eye injuries in the environment, we can say it should be road traffic accident and it can occur in different forms. Other things that can cause eye injuries could be domestic accidents, even domestic fights, husbands fighting wives. And now we have clashes all over Nigeria, communal, religious, or name it. This can cause eye injuries. And then games, different games, plays, like in the house, you have what we call the broomstick injury. Broom is something we take for granted. Children play with it. But you know these rubber bands we use, the one we use in time notes, not dollars, but naira. If you put a broom stick into it, it turns into a missile. And when a child shoots it into another child's eye, it could be dangerous and can be blinding if care is not taken. Then we have all our workouts, factory workouts, people working in factories, soap, or even breweries. They deal with chemicals. And any of these entering the human eye can be very injurious. Then we have our well that's commonly who don't protect their eyes despite the devices provided, they can easily get injured. The one common thing is even farmers, you can get injured in the farm and from different mechanisms, sticks, or even some animals like snakes spinning to the bottom somebody's eyes, that can cause injury also. But the most important thing is what do you do when this happens. If a child has an injury, maybe from a broomstick, it is an emergency. Because the broom is very dirty. What you use is everywhere in the house, including toilet. Imagine where that gets into the eyes. So also it carries with it infective organisms. That eye can go blind in a very short while if care is not taken. Or somebody working in a soap industry. Or electricians, when the battery explodes, it can be terrible. Imagine where an acid gets into your eye or narcotics from uh, soap or soda gets into the eyes, it can injure and cause blindness. We can't talk about the road traffic accidents, particularly where you sit in a vehicle. And in this environment, where human beings travel with animals, I've had cause to treat somebody who got injured from a cow horn. Imagine where you take a ride in a vehicle carrying cows. What do you expect when the cows go fighting? Eye injury, and that can be blinding on the spot. So we have to, there are many, many of things that can blind our eyes. Communal clashes. Well, we now, we don't use them guns anyway for communal clashes. The full and hurts men in version. They now use sophisticated weapons and that can injure the eye and that can be blinding on the spot. And then these days we have some of these bottled drinks. They are bottled under high pressure. And when we open them particularly with unorthodox means, with style, and the cork goes off. And some wines are bottled under very high pressure. When the cork goes on and hits the eye, it can cause eye injury. 
and this can be blinding even on the spot. This, even the games we play, tennis, and those of you who play squash, you know what effect you have. If a squash ball hits your eye squarely, what it does is that it can rupture the eyeball, it can cause serious bleeding into the eyeball, it can cause the pressure in the eye to rise, and can be painful and blinding all at the same time. But what do we do? What we have to do is, in the eye injury, the most important thing is preventing its occurrence. Because once it happens, even the treatment may not be very reassuring. More, more so, we usually come very late to hospitals. And when we get injured, first of all, we try one or two things before doing the actual thing. Some of you here try Babalao, go to the chemist shop, they mix drugs. By the time you see the doctor, it takes days and a lot of hormones have been done. So what we have to come emphasize on is more of preventing its occurrence. Like in the house, don't allow the children to play unguarded. Watch them playing with brooms. All these rubber bands that you see them carry around, it's for binding notes and not for missiles, as the children use it. Once I see it among children in my house, I take them away. Workers should wear protective materials. Welders have their protective goggles, which they rather wear on the head than on the eyes. People working in factories, big construction companies, they have their headgears, they have their eye gears, nobody uses them. The same thing goes for people in soap industries, breweries, there are plastic goggles they have to use, but they don't use it. Even our Okada riders, imagine where you're on Okada in the night and instead it flies into your eye, reflexly you close the eye and a lot of other things can happen. We don't advocate fighting, but where you must fight, Go and get a protective goggle and be ready for a real fight to protect your eyes because a direct blow to the eye can be quite dangerous. Whether it comes from the man or from the wife, it should be avoided. Then, these days, we have new trends. Our uh, women are now having what we call the artificial lashes. What do they use to fix these things? Super glue. And those who wear glasses and repair their glasses to super glue is very dangerous. When it gets into the eye, it can injure the eye. The lids can stick together and may be difficult to open. Opening them means tearing the eye lashes, tearing the eyelids, tearing the eye contents apart. And we should avoid that. So women who fix the eyelashes with glues will be tied with the day the thing gets into the eyes. Because that eye may be glued to the extent that to open it may require the services of an anesthetist. We have to be careful. Now that we're talking about communal clashes, I mentioned the flying herdsmen who now go with sophisticated weapons. It is no more the fight of bow and arrow, but AK-47. We now have AK-49. I wonder that, what that one will do in Nigerian environment. We have to be cautious. And when it happens in the dead of the night, God save whoever gets the eye injured because there will be no attention until day breaks, if any will ever come. Because by then the husband must be, have been miles away. We can go on and on and talk about what causes eye injuries in our environment. Sighthead, an educational program on eye health issues. How to take care of our eyes, the problems that can occur with the eyes, and what we should do about them. Interviews. Glaucoma is the commonest cause of irreversible blindness. Educational drama on eye health. Check your eyes before you become a victim of glaucoma. Practical questions and answers. The effect a wrong pair of glasses will have is that you will be uncomfortable as the user. And lots more. Sighthead. Preserving vision, restoring sight. Sighthead. When you drive your vehicles, the protective belt is there for you. But we only wear it because we want to appease the road safety man. If you have an injury and you fly out of a vehicle, hit the, the screen of your uh, car. The glasses will not save your eyes. Imagine where you have pieces of glasses tearing eyeballs apart. It could be difficult to repair. We still talk about prevention. You can see that in eye injuries, it is better prevented than allowing it to occur. Then if it does happen, what we have to do is quick action. We don't go to hospitals in time, that's our problem. If you work in a factory and chemical splashes into your eyes, for goodness sake, look for the nearest source of clean water. Irrigate your eye, whether in a tub, whether in a bowl, as many times as possible. To wash up the chemicals 
and to reduce the irritants as well. Then watching children play with broomsticks and other missiles in the house should be avoided. In school, children should be, should be supervised particularly when they go out of break. And for those of you who still whip, use whip to correct the children, both at home or in, in the school, please avoid the head area because any injury to the eye is final. And we really very regret it after we must have caused injury to our children's eye. Imagine you blinding your child because you want to correct that child in the name of not sparing the cane to spoil the child. Avoid the head. The buttocks are large enough for you to flog on. Sight head. Counter injury in foot in tennis playing in in squash particularly because squash is firm and small and can easily fit into the opening of the eye and can damage the eye at the slightest opportunity. So gentlemen, we can go on and on and talk about it. One thing again is if we are injured, please, for goodness sake, visit the hospital as quickly as possible. Nigerians are latecomers in every aspect. Nobody ever goes to the hospital on time. And the eye injury, of course, they believe the chemistry will do something. And more so, there are some eye drugs that can be injurious to the eye, particularly when wrongly applied. Because once you go to the chemist, they must give you something. You can't live there without anything. Be careful what you put in the eye, particularly as a first aid. You have eye care workers all over the place. Go and get counseling. Get the first aid treatment before you go finally to see a specialist regarding your eye, particularly when you are injured, no matter what kind of injury you have in the eye. Another thing among our farmers, I've seen men treat eye injuries with urine. You may laugh, but it's true. I've seen them, a farmer gets injured in the eye, in the eye while in the farm. What it does is look for a leaf. Form it to take up, you it into it and pour it into the his eyes because his forefathers told them that it is healing. It is not. Imagine what to do. The urine you are sending out is a reject from the body. And imagine it contains a lot of infectious materials. You are now the one putting it back into your eye by inoculating a clean injury to the injured area of the eye with an infected, dirty um, urine from the body. It's unacceptable. And there are certain leaves, particularly in this environment. They tell you you squeeze it when you have an injury. Put the fluid into your eye. It is sweating and healing. It is very wrong. You don't know what you're putting into the eyes. It may end up causing you more harm than good, which will be very, very costly. Once you have an injury to the eye, please go to the nearest health center or hospital and get the appropriate attention. And more so, please look for those who are specialized in eye care deliveries. Not every part, for goodness sake. I wish you well. Wow. It does appear that all around us we are surrounded by things that can potentially injure our eyes. But then what do we do? We only need to be watchful. Precautions. We need to be proactive in preventing eye injuries. Um, we're going to go over now to watch a short drama clips on causes of eye injury. But let me tell you one thing. Most of the ones we're going to be outlining or most of the causes of eye injury we'll be showing one after the other are not just stories. These are events that have happened of cases that have presented to the clinic again and again. Now we're going to go over to watch the drama clip. Please pay attention, as I said. Sighthead, an educational program on eye health issues. How to take care of our eyes, the problems that can occur with the eyes, and what we should do about them. Interviews. Glaucoma is the commonest cause of irreversible blindness. Educational drama on eye health. Check your eyes before you become a victim of glaucoma. Practical questions and answers. The effect a wrong pair of glasses will have is that you will be uncomfortable as the user. And lots more. Sighthead. Preserving vision, restoring sight. Sighthead.
Well done, guy. Well done, guy. You have to work fast because we are blessed with power holding company in this country. I beg, let power hold, hold their company. It's like the power of my eyes. Don't they hold now? Papa, what do you mean? Don't come, oh. This thing don't come again. Again, sincerely. I always have occasional aches on my eyes. What's on the right side? And even as I'm feeling now, I don't think I can continue with this job. And the owner will soon come to collect it. It is Gary, my friend. You must have eaten a lot of Gary. I've warned you that Gary is dangerous to eyes. And if you want to enjoy your sight, you have to stop it. Let's pray. The owner, accept your usual apology. And you have to do something very fast to your wife. All of us will take Gary. You two take Gary. Ah, look, continue taking it. Yeah. Mm. If you don't drop it, you soon I become tangled. Oh. What is it you are sitting down again? Prof, where is my gate? I've come to collect it. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Are you serious at all? How do you mean? Can't you see what you are pointing your fingers at? It's an uncompleted piece of metal. Make no face, Oga. I have problem with my eye. It is Gary. No big Gary. I did tell him, say me no drink him. Prof, please. Make no face. Cassava flakes do not destroy the eye if it is well processed. What do you say? Flake? Gary? Prof! Now Gary, you give big name like that? Ah! What is wrong with your eyes? Oga, for the past two years now, I've been having problems with my two eyes. I also have this feeling as if sand is inside my eyes. Sometimes red, sometimes painful and difficult to work with in the bright light. And sir, as per your work, sir, please come back tomorrow or next tomorrow, sir. Where is your protective device? Protective device. device. Uh, please, Oga. <laughs> Well, come down to our our level. All this big big English. I know shall be a mo. I need your helmet with protective goggle. Bro, 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 bro. So the thing where they say goggle, then you they give big name like that. Ah, too much book. They worry you. Waiting. Gogu got to do with his problem. Engineer Dotton, please bring me your Gogu. <laughs> Gogu. <laughs> Gogu. <laughs> Gogu. <laughs> ah, bro, sincerely, he's uh, uh, only the. Uh, I will soon finish it. I you, will finish your job. You will see a Gogu now, yeah. and you will see how effective it is to your job. And. <laughs> Protective to your eyes. You know, it's, you know, our work is just to do that. Nothing to do with Gogu. Ah, ah. Uh, well done, uh. This is a protective Gogu. This is original. This is designed to protect welders from the ultraviolet light that comes from the welding materials that can cause damage to the retina and the cornea. The two important and most sensitive parts of the eyes for sight. When you wear this, you are protected. So, you must buy one immediately. Then, you must go and see your doctor because your eyes are already discharging. I can see. You must buy a protective goggle immediately. The same way you protect your skin and your hands with these long sleeves 
and gloves, mm. you too, you need to protect your eyes yeah. with the protective goggle so that chips from ions will not enter into your eyes. Mm. Understand? Very, 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 very. You must buy a protective goggle immediately. Okay. And I will come for my gate in the next three days. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to show you something. Though, we have, we have this for one. the past two years now, this is the one we use. And this one you brought, sir. This, this type. The time when we learn this job, mm -hmm. my Oga use them. Yes. I don't know where he bring them home, but my Oga get them. And it's good, but the thing costs. How much work will the collector yeah. will take money by this one? When your eyes are damaged, what you spend will be more than this. So, protect it right now and save your eyes. Hmm. Clear? Very, very clear. Prof, thank you very much. That reminds me. Uh, okay. There is a lecture on eye injury organized by an NGO in this town. It will benefit the both the two of you if you can attend. Here. These are the flyers. Take it. Invite your friends and make sure you attend. You will learn how to manage your how much sir? Free. Really? Yeah. Not free? Finish my gate in three days. Three days? I come for my gate. Thank uh, you very uh, much. Uh, 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 thank, uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Bro, hey, thank what you. about the balancer? Bro. Bro. You go buy go. If you bring my balance, uh -huh. if you bring my balance, why, why, why not so buy your balance? No I will balance. not do, I will not do. Then your eyes will go. Uh, you are, your own too will go. You become tangled. Your own too will go. Your eyes will go. Okay, will go buy your own. It's only I say he's paying me. He's uh, not paying me again. You need to hear what uh, Prof says. He's not paying me again. He's not paying me again. Sighthead. All right, viewers, this is where we're going to put an end to this episode today. And I do hope you have uh, learned one or two things from the video, uh, from the drama clip, as well as from the interview. I am Feyi Adekwaji, your host on Sidehead. Please, we want you to keep the interactions on our social media pages and we'll keep responding to each of us, you know, as we've been doing. Until next time when we meet again, um, keep taking good care of your eyes. I will advise you to keep watching Sighthead for preserving vision and restoring sight.